Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the Pandit, and you're watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we'll learn about basically what is RCCB and how it works and how to do the wiring of this RCCB. So before we start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos. So let's get started. So basically what is RCCB? So RCCB stands for residual current circuit breaker. So that are safest device to detect and trip against the electrical leakage current, thus ensuring protection against the electrical shock caused by the indirect contacts. Simply we can say it will protect from the electrical shock and even electrical leakage you can say. So this is the view of RCCB. So this is ABB make RCCB here we have a two terminals so one is for phase and one is for neutral okay so generally it is written over here uh, either one side N or one side phase like that so it's incoming is generally from top of generally from top of the RCCB and outgoing from down here we have a this is one this one is lever can pull it up and down manually and here we have a test button so this, with the help of this test button uh, we can check whether it is working or not now let's come to the working so basically how it works so during the normal condition actually how it works so suppose here uh, this is the phase and this is neutral source power source here we have a 220 volt single supply source now this is the ferromagnetic material which is we can say core ferromagnetic material core magnetic iron core over it we have a this one is the winding so this is primary winding we can say or phase winding from the output of it it will connected to this load now from the output of this load this is the actually neutral winding we can say secondary winding and it goes to the neutral side and this one is actually sensing coil and it is connected to this relay with the help of this sensing coil sensing coil this relay will be operated in case of any fault and this is the plunger and this is the test button so generally it is tapping from the leaving point of this winding or a winding core winding of the phase then from here neutral side so in normal condition actually what happened suppose we have a connected load which is m which ampere is 1.1 ampere so generally current will travels like 1.1 ampere like from phase to here and it goes to this winding and from here it enters to the load and then leave from here similar amount of current also pass through this neutral winding or you can say secondary winding and it goes back to the neutral source so in normal condition generally our current is same in phase and neutral side at this condition at this winding it will produce the flux electromagnetic plus suppose this much and here also because current is same so same amount of flux will be created from both sides but direction of phase and neutral flux is just opposite to each other that's why it will cancel to each other hence no emf will induce in this coil sensing coil that's why relay will not operate in this normal condition okay now come to the leakage condition suppose here someone get touched with this phase wire so at that condition what happened suppose 1.1 ampere current is flowing through this winding then over here towards the load when someone touch the phase wire suddenly suppose 0 0.1 and 1 ampere is leakaging through this body human body so at that condition what happened now from the neutral side current will be deducted because 0 0.1 current is diverting through this body towards the earth that's why now current leaving current is how much 1 ampere only now here the phase and neutral current is imbalance difference that's why what happened the flux amount of flux will generated in phase winding and neutral winding is different 
hence emf will induce in this sensing coil and this emf will operate this relay and this will disconnect the circuit from the load hence this this human will protect from the electrical shock suppose if if we will not use the rccb then at the leakage condition what happen mcb will not trip because mcb only it will trip in case of overloaded and short circuit condition short circuit condition that means the current is too much but as you know that human body cannot resist even 30 milliampere or 20 milliampere for longer time it will cause to even death in even more injurious that's why we have to use the rccb to protection so it will trip the within the millisecond if we have a like a 30 milliampere then will become 30 milliampere then 100 milliampere this is this comes in the, the in this rating and this is test button so here we can if we press again this will create the this imbalance hence the relay will activate and it will disconnect so this is only for testing purpose now come to the application as i have already discuss about this will from this will protect from electrical shock or electrical leakage this will generally also if we use rccb it will protect our children also in the home and uh, swimming pool also light near to the swimming pool outdoor lights even we use rccb in case of any leakage in the earth or leakage at that condition what happen rccb will trip so here we have wiring so this is single phase rccb 30 milliampere it comes in 30 milliampere then 40 milliampere milliampere and in 100 milliampere then the value is 30 milliampere in domestic so suppose this is the phase and neutral 220 volt sub source so here phase will connected over here and neutral as already written over n then phase again phase then neutral so here generally we put one mcb before the rccb main incoming will goes to the mcb then from out of it of it then it goes to the input of this rccb now from the output of this rccb neutral will be connected to neutral power or directly to the loads then phase will goes to the individual circuit or directly to the loads if we are using directly loads suppose here single pole mcb then it will goes to the load and then neutral over here so in this way we can do the wire similarly for three phase as well suppose this is the rccb three phase so 1 2 3 and neutral similarly 4 5 6 means r y b and then neutral so r y b then neutral similarly for r y b and neutral and this will goes to the load and neutral is directly connected to the load so in this way then really we do the wire so hope you guys understand about what is rccb what is rccb and how to do wiring of it and how it works so thank you for watching this video please like share comments and subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you very much see you again in next video